What the hell was that Darling finale? So what's up guys, Fox in here. Darling in the Franks is officially done. And really, what the hell was up with that final episode? I don't think being rushed even describes it at this point. Right now, it seems like a lot of people were overall enjoying the series up until episode 15. Personally, I was still enjoying the series up until the twist, and even then I didn't have major problems with Darling in the Franks. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I like to wait until I have the full picture. And then judge. Darling in the Franks is now over, so we're at that point. Honestly, now seeing what the last few episodes were leading up to, I'm actually left pretty disappointed. Let's just go down the list with some of the issues with this episode. In this final episode, you have so many time skips. At first, you jump over two months, and then finally, eight years later. They honestly try to cover so much in this episode that it feels like a second season abridged into one episode. Now I know what people watching Tokyo Ghoul feel like. And actually, I think I know what a better comparison is. This felt like one of those past anime-only endings, where the anime series caught up to the manga, so they quickly have to close everything off, even if it feels super rushed and doesn't really make sense. Anyway, as for the actual episode, first off, you have the giant planet size Zero Two and Hero traveling for a really long time. I honestly didn't think the trip was going to take that long. Surprising no one, the power of friendship saved the day. We have Zero Two and Hero connecting and converting that clocks for spear. It actually reminded me a lot of No Game No Life where they turn the chess game pieces. One of the actual really bright sides of this episode was when I saw the Giant Zero Two getting destroyed. Cause seriously, that thing just looks super weird. Freaking hell yes, bring back the Strelizia. Unfortunately, you only saw it for like a split second. They could have at least made it go into the red mode. As for the finale of Zero Two, of course both of these ended up dying. Quote unquote dying. At the end of the episode, you have both of them getting reincarnated. So at least in a way, they both survived. To be honest, this is one of those type of endings where they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. I think I would have preferred them to die straight out completely, or not die at all, just slowly return to the Earth like a decade later. As for Verm, they didn't really even accomplish their mission since these guys are still around. They're like Team Rocket, eventually they're gonna come back. This is once again why it feels like one of those anime-only type of endings, since this is left open. I got a feeling that they did this just in case they do want to continue the series, maybe in a manga or a side story, but seeing this rushed, abridged type of episode, I'm seriously doubting they're even going to get the chance. As for the rest of the people back on Earth, it seemed like Ichigo, Goro, and the rest of the guys lived happily ever after. The only one that really got screwed over was Ikuno. Conveniently, they found a way to stop that accelerated aging. Of course, it only came at the cost of poor Ikuno. She was looking like a grandma at the end there. As for Hachi and Nana, well, both of them are still immortal? Didn't they need some of that clock sword juice to survive? Well, at least one more couple made it out of this. It just sucks that one of them doesn't have a sex drive. I'm sure by now a lot of people already posted down below. If you haven't, definitely let me know what you thought about this final episode. I can't be the only one that thought it was super rushed or abridged. Am I the crazy one? By the way, did anyone genuinely enjoy it? Because right now, I definitely can't say I liked it. Although I can't truly say I disliked it or hated it. Right now, I'm hovering somewhere in the pretty disappointed area. And that's really because I think all of us saw a potential for a much better story here. Especially from the first 15 episodes. I don't think this thing even needed a season 2. Maybe just another half a season. By the way, really quickly. Unfortunately, Darling in the Franks is over. Hopefully you enjoyed my weekly reviews on it. Right now, I am still doing weekly reviews for My Hero Season 3. Just started videos on the manga, by the way. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing weekly breakdowns on Attack on Titan Season 3. I'll also be covering SAO Season 3 in the fall too. Whenever Code Geass Season 3 comes out, I'll be sure to cover that too. Anyway, more important, let me hear from you. Question of the day. How did you feel about Zero Two and Hero at the end of this episode? Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was rushed? Would you like to see a Season 2? I would honestly love to see the final two episodes expanded into like half a season. I would even take a manga form of it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give a darling size thumbs up and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, you can watch 5 plus anime videos here every week. Go ahead and check out my non-spoiler review for the My Hero Academia movie. It has something that rivals the United States of Smash. Also, the new SAO Season 3 trailer just dropped. That had me in tears, so check that out and I'll see you guys later.